Hello viewers, today I will give you a general introduction of mutation. I will cover up the topics related to the introduction as well as mutation related terminology, characteristics of mutation and quantitative and qualitative aspects of mutation as well as applications and use of mutations. Definition. Any change in DNA sequence or RNA sequence is called mutation. That DNA may be extra chromosomal, that DNA may be nuclear in origin of specific organism, may be virus. The mutation can be happen spontaneously or induced by insertion or deletion of the bases, may be adaptive or maladaptive. It may give rise to the positive aspects like immune response, like evolutionary change or negative aspect as cancer. Let us talk about the evolution related to variation in mutation. As we know that when the random mutation occur, they may be the lethal or non-lethal. The non-lethal mutation give rise to the variation in the gene pool and majority of the mutation is lethal. In case of drosophila, it was found that 70 percent mutation is lethal apart from which are weakly beneficial and neutral. If the mutation is the environmental friendly by evolution, by gene into environment interaction, it is getting adaptively selected and it is fixed and stable called as wild type. As we know that beneficial mutation serves the fitness as well as gives the reproductive success, but the neutral mutation does not introduce any fitness towards the evolution. We can find by shuffling of the pre-existing DNA sequence by mutation, we can find differential domains can be created acting at the same line like polyketide synthase where 100 domains are attached. It can give rise to the same line of action that is antibiotic synthesis. So, we were on that aspect, evolution is related to the variation in the mutation either increasing viability or decreasing viability or remains neutral. In 1859, Charles Darwin had proposed the theory of natural selection that is hereditary variability. In 1900, Hugo de Vries have introduced the term mutation. H.J. Muller, he had extensive experiments with mutation on drosophila by transmutation giving X radiation. Stadler, he had experiments on Hordium valgari that is barley as well as in Z maize, maize with X radiation. And we know that Muller did his experiment in 1927 for which he got the Nobel Prize in 1946 and Stadler did his experiment during 1929. In 1946, Charlotte Auerbach did her experiment along with her co-worker Robson by giving nitrogen mustard over the drosophila. And during 1950s and 60s, the plant breeding related to the mutation were increased in the plant among the plant breeders. And it was observed that it was started in 1929 by Nielsen Ehele, which was continued by his co-worker Aka Gustafsson. It will include the mutation event, wild type as well as mutant, genotype, phenotype, mutated genes, mutant genesis as well as different other aspects of the mutation. Mutation. So, mutation is the general occurrence in the genetic variability that is change in DNA sequence. Genotype, that is the gene or allele makeup which is interacting with the environment and giving rise to particular expression. As we know that the lethal mutations are abolished from the gene pool, but the mutations which are selected by the adaptation, by the evolution. So, they can have the chance to show the phenotypic expression like biochemical change, morphological change as well as the phenological changes. 
wild type. So, as we know that the genetic makeup which is giving rise to a particular phenotypic trait which is selectable and adaptive is called the wild type and altered phenotype is called the mutant, mutagen. The causative agent for the mutation is called mutagen. It may be physical mutagen like X radiation, UV radiation and heat, may be the chemical mutagen like base intercalating agent like ethidium bromide, the base is analog like 5 bromouracil or may be biological like transposons and viruses. Mutagenesis, it is the process of the mutation. It may be either directed or indirect. Directed means site directed mutagenesis that is on a particular enzyme the active site amino acid is getting changed. That is the mutation, desired mutation with high frequency. But sometimes indirect mutation may also be happen by translational DNA polymerase action or oxidation of bases. Mutated genes. So, at mutant type, some genes are more prone towards the mutation having higher frequency. What are they? The editing power or proofreading power of DNA polymerase. If it is getting abolished, so mis bases can be incorporated, giving mispairing. As well as we can find the mutation in the dam gene because the product of the dam gene is responsible to methylate the adenine residue in the parental strand, which is very much important during the course of mismatch repair to repair the nascent daughter strand. If dam gene is getting mutated, that susceptible the system more towards the mutation, more prone towards the mutation. So, they are called the mutated genes that is related to the mismatch repair genes like mute S, mute L as well as mute H. So, mutation gives the altered version of the gene within the gene pool. If they have positive gene into environment interaction, so they are naturally selected. Usually, the subtle change in the phenotypic characters gives the polymorphism, altered version in the genotype as well as observed at the phenotypic level. As well as change in genetic sequence at one particular loci can be manifested at relating different traits together that is called pleiotropy. Mutation is usually random and mutation is recessive that is masked and mutation is recurrent. It can be happen continuously if at one side mutation may be happen earlier. So, that is the main characteristics of, they are the main characteristics of the mutation. As we know that beneficial mutation is giving rise to the reproductive success, they are naturally selected by the environment and neutral mutation does not contribute anything towards the fitness and non-lethal mutations are only contributing towards the variation in the gene pool. It includes source, purpose as well as cause and effects of the mutation, source of mutation. So, regarding source, we can say the arch of evolution is the source of mutation. The point mutation can create new allele and these particular new allele may be fixed purpose of mutation. So, purpose of mutation includes its reasons, its consequence, conclusion as well as evidence. Let us talk about them individually. Reasons. So, what is the reason? The reason may include the evolutionary change number one. The nucleobases can be changed at the codon level which can be expressed at the protein level. Either it may be missense, the change, the sense of one particular amino acid, nonsense, premature protein synthesis by coding stop codon as well as sometimes may be silent or neutral coding the degenerate codon. So, along with the evolution change in nucleobases as well as to compute genetic algorithm to compute the genetic variability is the another reason for the purpose of mutation. Along with these, the genetic relatedness by dendrogram analysis can be quantified by the mutation and it give rise to more or less high level language of the genetic variation.
consequence. So as a consequence, we can find the differential high level of language of genetic variation that can be manifested at the evolutionary chain giving rise to the differential theory of the evolutionary selection. Evidences. Now it was found that in eukaryotic organism, the mutation at the non-coding region, okay, so that is much more complex. So usually mutations are not always manifested at the phenotypic level, why? Because it is not expressed at the protein level, it is not disturbing the open reading frame of the protein, it is just in the non-coding region that is actually found in eukaryotic system and that is much more complex giving rise to the footsteps of mutation as well as universality of the codon is broken at the end codon or stop codon and degeneracy of the codon. So in this way it gives the higher tools for the evidence of evolution. So mutation testing is needed because coevolution is getting happen that is the system as well as environment is getting changed and the intermediate steps must be assessed. So by which the purpose of the mutation can be monitored. The causes may be spontaneous, the inefficiency of DNA polymerase proofreading capacity, the best automerization as well as codon slippage are the spontaneous causes and induced causes may again include the presence of physical mutagen like X-ray UV ray, the presence of intercalating agent and base analogs as chemical mutagens as well as biological mutagens as virus or transposons. The effects can be manifested at gene, genome or chromosomal level, fine. Now when we are talking about the effect, it can be manifested at the microorganism level by manifestation of oxotroping that is the nutrition requirement mutation as well as the antibiotic resistant mutation. At the multicellular level, it can be manifested as the loss or gain of function, neomorphic, antimorphic, etc or penetrance on what extent it is getting expressed as well as the dominance because some of the mutations are recessive. So at the hemizygous condition in case of male only they can be expressed. So from this picture the effects at the microorganism and multicellular level can be observed. Nomenclature of mutation. It includes the principle of nomenclature as well as genetic notation and convention. So principle, let us talk about the nucleotide substitution. So what is get, getting happen? So by human genome variation society, the standard variant type of the mutation is getting standardized. So what are they? If the adenine at the 76 position from the 5 prime end at the wild type is getting mutated to the thiamine that can be represented by this. If it is in the genomic DNA, small g will be given. If it is at the mitochondrial level, mt will be given. For RNA, these a and t will be in the small letters. Now in case of amino acid substitution, first from the n terminus end, the earlier wild type one letter code will be given. Here it is for the glutamic acid and then the position that is 111th from the n terminus end, then the mutated type of the amino acid one letter code that is here the aspartic acid. The amino acid deletion can be given by delta, okay. Then the wild type one letter code phenylalanine here, then position from the N terminal end. So let us talk about the genetic notation and convention. So the phenotype will be given in the three letter, like if it is deficient to prepare leucine in the min minimal media, so it will be given as leu, L-E-U, fine. And the genotypic change can be given as the superscript, either positive if, we, if it is prototrop, able to synthesize leucine, and if it is oxotrop, unable to synthesize leucine, minus at the superscript. And sensitivity and resistance can be given by small s or r, again at the superscript, but in italics. Let us talk about the quantitative terms related to mutation, mutation rate, mutation frequency, mutation equilibrium as well as mutation event itself. 
mutation rate. Mutation rate must be assessed for population ecology, for environmental aspect and population genetics evolutionary aspects. In case of bacteria, it is not very easier to assess mutation rate because within the culture broth, within the system any time the spontaneous mutation can create the mutation event. So, when we are talking about rate per base pair for bacteria it is 10 to the power minus 9 per base pair per cell division. In case of gene we can find 10 to the power minus 5 per gene per cell division because human genome contains almost 30,000 gene. Now, we can say in case of somatic mutation which is quite accurate, which is not delivered from the parents, which is not delivered towards the offspring can only be observed by the cancer manifestation. So, that is not very easy to assess. So, by presence of several mutagens that can be increased, that can be taken for the disease of cancer therapy. Let us talk about the mathematical interpretation of the mutation rate. So, mutation is the frequency or probability of the mutation event itself per single generation. So, we can say that the mutation rate mu is equal to the probability of mutation P0 of no mutant finding in n number of cell can be expressed by Poisson's distribution ratio that is exponential that is e to the power minus mu n or mu n is equal to ln p0. So, mu is the mutation rate, p0 is the probability and n is the number of cell within the culture having no mutant. Okay? And we can find the mutation frequency of the mutant allele is equal to mutation rate into frequency of